Hey, Weather Warriors, in this video, I'm going to talk about a fascinating rare weather event that's occurring across the coast of Africa. A massive wall of dust is heading towards the United States. In this video, I'm going to show you a beautiful time lapse that I put together of this dust coming towards the United States. I'm also going to talk about how it could shake up the weather pattern across the tropics and the United States as well. But before we begin, I invite you to subscribe below if you like detailed, educational, exciting, extreme weather event breakdowns just like this, much more in depth than you'd see on TV. And comment below, have you ever been inside of a dust storm? Get a little fun comment section going in the comments and uh, we'll get right into it. So I'm going to come back to this time lapse here in a moment, but we're going to look at the GOES satellite of this dust plume that's coming to the United States. This is the GOES satellite. The white areas obviously are the clouds. This is the coast of Africa right here. And look at this color here, this coloration here, this tan color. It looks suspiciously similar as the land here in Africa. Well, you guessed it. It is the dust coming off of the coast of Africa, racing towards the west, deep, deep into the Atlantic Ocean. This is the Saharan, I'm not going to spell that out, but it's the Saharan dust layer, the Saharan air layer, Saharan dust essentially, from the deserts, and it is 5,000 to 20,000 feet in the air. So it is way up there, it is way up high, and it is moving towards the United States. This is going to cause a dramatic shakeup in the weather pattern. We'll go over that in a second. But this is the second part, of, or this is the exciting part of the video here, the, the time lapse. And this is the future of weather decoded now. This is custom model data I put together for this channel. We're going to be starting to use this more and more into the future here. But essentially what I put together here is model data of the Saharan air layer. And what we're looking at is dust aerosol optical thickness. So what the heck is that? Well, it ranges from a zero to a one. The greens and blues are closer to a one and the light blues and nothing at all is closer to a zero. So this is essentially the dust thickness in the atmosphere. So how dense is the dust in the air? How much space is the dust taking up? So obviously the colored areas, the greens and the yellows, heavy dust. And then obviously areas that aren't colored, light dust. You can see a little bit up here in Nebraska and High Plains, but that's nothing, nothing to worry about. Very, very light, you know, typical particles in the atmosphere. But this area is very enhanced. Now watch what happens as we go into the future here. We're starting off at the 20th. This is a little algorithm I put together, coded our custom models here. So let me guys comment below and let me know what you think of these. Do you like the color scheme? I'm going to be trying to make these to fit your guys' Uh, desires here because sometimes those models on other sites are hard to see but these these arrows here we're going to fast forward this now this is going into the 21st now look what happens here there's a high pressure system out here these white arrows that you see are the wind trajectory so it's essentially where's the wind coming from and the longer you know the the, the arrow the stronger the wind and obviously they're pointing into the the direction they're going so what you're seeing is, is all this clockwise flow here out in the Atlantic. This is a semi-permanent high pressure system sitting out here. And this is going to sweep this dust into the United States. So we have the perfect setup here. We've got a powerful high out there in the Atlantic. Tons of dust. Very dry air forming out in, in uh, Africa. And it's moving right into that conveyor belt of typical tropical activity. We'll go over that in a second. But watch what happens here. So as we head towards the 23rd, I predict around the 23rd is when you're going to see your main wave, the first wave of dust approach the United States. So this is the 23rd and you can see this wave here, this first wave moving in to the United States. Now I want to go back to the satellite here. If you look off to the east here in the satellite, there is a little bit of a, a little bit of dust here hanging out already. So there was actually an initial wave. There's a second wave, a bow here. Um, we'll fast forward this a little bit or move this over just a little bit. So there's actually a weak area out here, then another wave coming out here, and then we'll see another wave come out. So these bowing segments of dust, multiple waves from about the 22nd through the 30th and beyond is what I'm forecasting here. But as you can see, around Wednesday, this is when that first wave move moves in. And you can see around the 23rd, 24th, we could be seeing dust from Florida 
all the way out into Georgia, parts of Alabama, Mississippi, Tennessee, Arkansas, Louisiana, Texas, Oklahoma, and potentially as far north as Kansas and Missouri here. So a moderate wave of dust around the 23rd to the 24th, but look at it building out here. Another big time wave off the coast, maxed out, loaded dust in the atmosphere. And you can see this wave right here, a wave right here, a wave right here, another one right here, and one right here. So this will be kind of like a conveyor belt over the next week or two through early July, potentially, as long as we get those easterly winds. As we head towards the 25th, you can see that that dust kind of does move to the east. Now, that's the farthest this particular model goes that I coded up goes out, but we'll play this animation a few more times and we'll uh, fast forward it so you guys can kind of see this in motion. So we're looking at the 21st right now and we'll fast forward it all the way to the 25th. And that's, you can see that circulation in the atmosphere up there with that high, that beautiful look up there and it's just blowing some dust into the United States. Now what's going to happen here? Well, you're going to see some fascinating sunsets and particularly in these areas right around right around there, particularly right here. That's where you're going to see these beautiful magnif magnificent sunsets, vibrant oranges and reds in the atmosphere. And your sun is going to not really spit out as many rays. It's going to be just kind of looks like a bowling ball or a tennis ball as it sets, sets in the uh, sunset or the sunrise as it just comes off the surface up the horizon. So you won't see as many rays. Now, it's a good idea not – it's a bad idea to look in, into it directly even though it might look more visible like a little bowling ball. It's still going to be a bad idea to look right into it. So don't do that. But – You'll eventually, you're eventually going to see some very interesting sunsets there, vibrant reds and green, uh, oranges in the atmosphere. Now, another thing that this stuff is going to do is it's going to change up the weather pattern. You know, typically around this time of year, we start to see an uptick in tropical activity, at least as we head towards July. And this year, it's very favorable for an active season. We'll go to that in a separate video, but... Look where this uh, this dust is. It's right over where that max tropical activity typically occurs, where those warm sea surface temperatures are, warmer than average this year. And what that th that's going to do is that's going to temporarily shut off the tropical activity in the atmosphere. Why? Well, we've got a jet stream up here. This is my beautiful drawing here, graphic design skills. All right. But anyway, we got the jet stream up there. We got the ocean down here. And essentially in the mid-levels, this is where that dust is. It's dominating the mid-levels, the 700 millibar areas. And essentially what this is doing is it's creating a dry, stable air in the mid-levels. Sinking air, dry air. That's not good for hurricanes. Hurricanes shut off when we get those types of conditions. So this is a protective layer. So this is kind of good news, obviously, for parts of the Atlantic and that is creating a dry air it's really taking up the space in the atmosphere that dry heavier dust that's uh, essentially what's going on and if you look at this I'm eventually going to be coding these up as well so we're going to be getting more uh, parameters here on the channel with this new model data but right now I don't have that done yet but we'll look at pivotal weather great website as well and you can see around the 21st, 22nd, you see this dust here. This is the relative humidity. Humidity values 10 to 20% towards Cuba. As, as we head towards the 23rd and beyond, you can see those, those values continue to move to the east. Now, my internet connection is a little bit slow, so that's why I'm going to be coding this up and using my computer models on my computer. So we'll have a much smoother view here, but you can kind of see that dust. Now, if we go towards the coast here, this is the 20th, very moist in the Gulf, but watch what happens. This is a quick change up here. Very moist, there we go, 23rd. You can see that dry air starting to seep in with that dust. This is 700 millibar, relative humidity, and then another drier air comes in around the 26th and beyond next week. And so I think a heavier blast of dust could occur on the coast after the 25th. Eventually, the moisture does start to fill in as we head towards early July, but even then, there's still a little bit of dry air. So for the next week or two, a couple of weeks, we're going to see a lot of dry air. Another thing that this could do is raise the temperatures across the southeastern United States. As we head towards Wednesday here, um, we'll go to the 23rd. 
That's Tuesday. Temperatures well into the 90s, close to 100 across much of the coast. I would actually predict a little bit higher, a couple few degrees higher where we get that heavy dust than what the models are predicting right now. I'm not sure that they have the best handle on this thing. Uh, because of that, I do think that you could see some spots where we could go over 100 in some of these areas. Well, why does that happen? Well, again, we're talking about this dust layer up here. So this is your dust. This is the surface. This is the sun up here. Well, before that dust moves in, that those sun rays hit the surface, they bounce back up, hit that dust layer, bounce back down. So it kind of traps the heat. And that's why you get some, some uh, less shortwave radiation going out or long wave radiation going out and you get that buildup of heat in the lower levels that could uh, could affect things a little bit and warm up temperatures slightly, maybe a couple degrees or so. So it'll act as a kind of a heat blanket as well for the United States. So pretty fascinating stuff. Again, here's your animation. Let me know what you guys think in the comments of this data. Do you like the color scheme? Can you see things well? Let me know. I'm gonna continuously improve the weather models, these are custom coded weather models, the same stuff that you would see online, just better suited for the channel here. And eventually I might be getting these up for you guys to use as well on a weather decoded website that will be coming soon as well. So again, let me know what you guys think of this in the comments. Again, this is your dust animation time lapse from the 20th through the 25th, measuring the dust thickness and the wind speeds as well, surface wind speeds. So. We'll be having more updates on this, guys, in the future when this goes out through the 30th and beyond. I think you'll see a much heavier wave come in. Again, nothing to con be concerned about. This is not going to be the end of the world. It's actually going to help out the tropical, you know, the tropical activity in a good way. It, it would shut off the hurricane supply. So that's uh, that going to be that, guys. Uh, comment below again. Have you ever been in a dust storm? And uh, share this with a friend. Subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you soon.